What's going on everyone? Isaac Perez here back with another trick tutorial. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the pull split. Well, now that that's over with, if you're not already following me on Instagram, I'll throw my username here. And if you're not following official VGods Instagram yet, I'll throw their username here. The setup I'll be using in this tutorial, my all day, every day tricking mod is the official VGod Promec 2 with the stainless steel elite RDA. And the juice that I'm using today is Berry Bomb, it's just released. It's pretty much a sour strawberry belt, amazing. And if you wanna find any of our products, please check out the link below going to be officialvgod.com. Alrighty, back to the tutorial. As I was saying earlier, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the pull split. I originally learned this trick off of seeing a YouTube video on Kilo's page, and it was featuring my boy Byron, aka A-Kids. And yeah, he was pretty much explaining how he did it, and ever since then, that's how I've learned. And now it's my turn to show you guys how I do it, which is pretty much the same way. Basically what a pull split is, is when you have an O out in front of you and then you're gonna inhale a little bit of the top of it and then you're gonna pull your hands apart and it's gonna horizontally split into two O's. To simplify this trick a little bit, I'm gonna split it up into three different steps. Step number one, you're gonna need to blow out a decently sized O, so I'd say probably about medium size, which would be about here. The placement of that O should be around chest height. You don't want it too low because you don't wanna to have to like bend all the way down to split it and you don't want it too high because you simply won't be able to reach it. Another little tip that I like to give to people is to keep the O completely flat out in front of you and not angled back or down because when you go to pull, it's gonna mess the whole thing up. Now for the second step. The second step is a little more difficult because it's pretty much two steps in one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and you're gonna sip the top of the O, but as you're doing that, you're gonna come in with your hands behind it as if you were like praying. For this trick, I'd say the sip is the most crucial. And what a sip is, is when you have an O out in front of you and you're gonna inhale the top of the O a little bit and bring your head down with it at the same time to make the O bounce. You're pretty much compressing it. And the reason why the sip is so important is because if you don't sip it enough, all the O is gonna do is bounce when you try to pull it. And if you sip it too much, you're gonna either break it or you're gonna collapse the O on itself. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail with the praying hands because it's pretty self-explanatory. Just go behind the O and literally just put your hands right behind it, just pray. And now for the third and final step, the pull. I'd say the hardest part about the pull is the timing because back in the day when I was first learning this trick, I was very impatient and when I would go to sip the O, I would try to pull it apart right away but you're not gonna wanna do that. You're gonna wanna give the O a little bit of time to wobble, and then once it wobbles and goes horizontal, that's when you should be pulling. So I would say you're probably gonna wanna wait about 0.3 seconds after you sip the O to actually pull it apart. The part of your hand that would split the O best would be the very middle, so the start of your pinky and the top of your palm. So once you have all that down and you're ready to go in for a pull split, one tip that I highly recommend is after you sip the O and you're getting ready to pull it apart, Pretty much replace your face with your hands and then it should be ready to go and then we'll pow, pull split. And just keep in mind guys, all the tips that I was explaining before was based off of medium sized O's. So if you blow bigger O's, basically what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to sip harder and you might have to wait a little longer to actually pull it apart and you're gonna have to pull a little bit harder as well. And for smaller O's, it's gonna be the exact opposite. Alrighty, y'all, I think that's just about it for the pull split tutorial. Please let me know down in the comments below what tutorial you'd like to see next, because me especially, I love doing tutorials, I love teaching people, and I love teaching them in depth. So let me know, guys, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Official VGod, down below. I love you all. Take care.